Good morning. Our hindrance antiphon, O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. You are my rescuer, my help. O Lord, do not delay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. The Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The children of Israel lamented, would that we had meat for food. We remember the fish we used to eat without cost in Egypt and the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions, and the garlic. But now we are famished. We see nothing before us but this manna. Manna was like coriander seed and had the color of resin. When they had gone about and gathered it up, the people would grind it between millstones or pound it in a mortar, then cook it in a pot and make it into loaves, which tasted like cakes made with oil. At night, when the dew fell upon the camp, the manna also fell. When Mo Moses heard the people, family after family, crying at the entrance of their tents so that the Lord became very angry, he was grieved. Why do you treat your servants so badly? Moses asked the Lord. Why are you so displeased with me that you burden me with all this people? Was it I who conceived all this people? Or was it I who gave them birth that you tell me to carry them at my bosom like a foster father carrying an infant to the land you have promised under oath to their fathers? Where can I get meat to give to all this people? For they are crying to me, give us meat for our food. I cannot carry all this people by myself for they are too heavy for me. If this is the way you will deal with me, then please do me the favor of killing me at once so that I need no longer face this distress. The word of the Lord. Sing with joy to God our help. My people heard not my voice, and Israel obeyed me not. So I gave them up to the hardness of their hearts. They walked according to their own counsels. If only my people would hear me and Israel walk in my ways, quickly would I humble their enemies. Against their foes, I would turn my hand. Those who hated the Lord would seek to flatter me, but their fate would endure forever. While Israel, I would feed with the best of wheat and with honey from the rock, I will fill them. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowd heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowds so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. He said to them, There is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up the fragments left over, twelve wicker baskets full. Those who ate were about 5,000 men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning's Gospel recounts again one of those occasions of Jesus multiplying the loaves and the fish. And we come away with that remarkable abundance of God. And when you think about it, what is at work here in that multiplication of the loaves is a multiplication of grace. Because the five loaves, the two fish that are offered to God mean nothing to God in the whole scheme of things. Because God himself is self-sufficient. He has no need of that bread, of that fish. But he uses that blessing and that which is offered to him to reflect and to nourish those around. And so that blessing, that gift that's given is multiplied time and again, and it's sufficient to feed the vast crowd. Now that's something to be astonished at. And yet in that first reading today from the book of Numbers, we hear how this people of Israel, great in number, have been nourished by God sending manna, that bread from heaven. And now the people grumble. It's not enough that God has kept them alive with this meager bread. It's not enough. They want meat. They want other things. They are people heart of heart who are not returning gratitude to God for the gifts received. Well, in our own lives, we experience those moments of the gospel where gifts are given and they multiply. And yet I suspect that if we're truly honest, there are times where we are not unlike that people of Israel who are not grateful for what it is that we've received and don't bother to return gratitude to God for those blessings. We lose sight of them. The manna, well, it no longer satisfies. It's sufficient, but we want something else. And this week, let us take time to focus on those blessings that God has given to each and every one of us. And let us return great gratitude to the Lord for the gifts received. In faith, let us bring our prayers together before the Lord. For Pope Francis and all his brother bishops around the world, may the Lord bless and protect them. 
Let us pray to the Lord. For Holy Trinity parishioners, that we may grow in our time spent in prayer and developing an intimate relationship with Christ, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, especially rain, during this growing season, let us pray to the Lord. For all the faithful departed, especially Maureen Kelly, and Gary Schumacher, may the Lord shine his light of peace upon them. And for the intentions of this Mass, Eileen Ternagel, Jeffrey Jenkins, Ken Serwick, Randy Dershmet, let us pray to the Lord. For the prayers we hold silently in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Join in our vocation prayer. God our Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocations. Help our people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your spirit's invitation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious. As we entrust to your care all who seek to do your will, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of you in the hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the communion at a fun. You have given us, O Lord, bread from heaven, endowed with all delights and sweetness in every taste. Let us pray. <clears throat> Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. <clears throat>